I am finally on my way to go pick up my uh, engine block. So we'll get there and I'll uh, take some pictures. This is actually finally really exciting because I think it was done right this time. Welcome back to 10 Foot Customs and we are in the shop today. I punched out a little bit early to try to get this done before we have some weather setting in tonight. I picked up my block and this has been, the head's been done for a long time. But I just picked up my block recently and I want to get it all cleaned up so I can throw a coat of paint on it. I think I'm gonna run an entire uh, build series playlist just on the engine build. That way when I screw something up really bad, uh, because I haven't built an engine from the ground up before, that I can just erase the entire playlist and nobody will have to know about it but me and my wallet. Uh, but first thing is first, I do need to get the block and the head cleaned up um, get any kind of oils from the machine shop off it. I did kind of wash them down a little bit. Then I brushed them down with mineral spirits and sprayed them off with compressed air. I did that yesterday. Um, but I want to do it again. I want to do another coat of that because when I got done with it, the mineral spirits came off. And the, the, what was left in my container was like black. So I'm going to do it again today. Hopefully it'll come off a little bit cleaner. And then from what I've seen, you can then just go and paint well once it's dry you can just go and paint it and I'm hoping that's the case so I'm going to send brush these completely down with mineral spirits one more time both of these put them underneath the heater uh, after I've, uh, I've blown them down with compressed air I'll put them underneath the uh, the uh, radiant heater and let them dry really well before um, I can come in here and tape them and spray them so that is the plan
sit under the heater and dry for the next you know 15 20 minutes and then they should be ready to be able to be taped off and then we'll go into the uh, painting head and the block have been drying for some quite some time I did get the head completely taped off. And I got paper towels stuffed in the holes. And then I will do the block now. Pull all the studs out of the, of the head. And tape up everything that doesn't need to get paint on it. Um, from the research that I've done on these, uh, these engines came out of the factory either black or blue. And this block, I don't know if there's anything left on it. Because they did clean it, it kind of well. There was blue on this block, and then the head obviously here has blue on it. Um, the valve cover was plastic and uh, it's a black plastic valve cover and the oil pan was so dirty by the time I cleaned all the grease off it it was just the color of steel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, because I already have the oil pan done in uh, Eastwood's AMC blue and the valve covers done in blue and black of the Eastwood AMC blue which honestly isn't a true AMC blue but this is not going back to original, and I don't care. Um, this is not a show vehicle. This is not going to be some kind of a trailer queen. This is going to be a daily driver, and I just figured I'd paint it while it's apart. Had the engine been perfectly good, I probably would never painted it, but since it's apart, I might as well paint it. So, yeah, the black's going to be AMC blue, the oil pan AMC blue. The head I'm doing in Eastwood's um, high temp engine uh, black, and then the valve covers uh, the AMC blue with black striping on it. So, um, and then I think all the accessories will probably be black or silver. I haven't decided yet, but probably black just because I have the black paint. Um, so let me get all of the studs out, and then I will start masking the top of the engine off here. Block is taped. Not much to tape on that side. And then the underside is done as well. We will get some paint mixed and we'll get to spraying. Rain is really starting to come down out there and hopefully this weather will hold the, the change in weather will hold off till I get done because I'd rather not drive home in the really crappy icy weather but these are the paint colors we're using this is my engine color and this is the head color which is just a gloss black these are Eastwood ceramic uh, ceramic engine paints and these are mixed in a four to one ratio so four to one four to one and then Trying to think how much to mix. I'm probably going to do a double batch for the block and a single batch for the head because there's really not much on the head. So, so the first line of four to one on this for the black, and then the second line of four to one for the um, blue. And then uh, we'll get to spraying. I'm kind of excited to see what this final looks like. This paint um, can go direct to metal. They also do have a primer for it. Um, because this is not something that I'm, you know, again, not a show vehicle, just a daily driver. I'm just gonna go direct the metal with this paint. If it was something for something like more important that I really wanted to have last a really long time, um, I would use the primer. Though this stuff I have used before, and even though I've gone direct the metal, it has lasted quite quite a long time before there's been any kind of indication of rust on it. So I've been very pleased with their ceramic paints. Okay, black paint, four to one. Again, we're just gonna go to the first line. And we may go to the second line just because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough if I just go to the first line. There's four.
I can always mix more, I guess. You can't mix less, and there's no reason to waste it. There's one. Okay. Mix that up good. Um, and now for the blue, same thing. This one, I'm going to definitely go to the second mark. Make sure I have enough to paint the block. There's that one. Still got about a third of a quart left of the blue. And there we go. Getting some urethane reducer, probably just to thin this out a touch, but again, this is going to go down really nice, I think. and crannies isn't easy so again once all the accessories are on it you're never going to see it anyway so what does it matter but got the blue and it looks cool so I'm gonna roll it underneath the heater and I'm gonna rinse out my spray gun and we'll spray the head <laughs>
Well, don't know if they got that on camera or not. I know it was off camera, but the noise was probably there. I thought I'd shut the camera off and I was gonna roll this back from the heat to get into the coat. The cart caught a crack and I just dumped the head into the concrete. So that was fun. Um, the only major damage I see is I did snap off my temp sensor, which I'm hoping I can easy out and get it out of there. Um, it mostly hit on these uh, on the bolt, protru bolt protrusions. I barely hit one of the valves. I don't think I I, I, mean, I barely cut into the plastic. I don't think I did anything there. I am gonna have to check that last valve now because it did uh, it did hit it. So I really hope I didn't bend these last two valves. None of those are the plastic even got touched. That would suck if I bent two valves. Awesome. Well, that was good. Two coats on each. And I'm really, really hoping that I did not bend, a, bend those last two valves. Um, that would just so suck. Comes from trying to hurry and get it done and uh, just not paying attention. Um, I just hope it doesn't cost me more more time and money. The valves themselves are, are inexpensive, but just the the time that I have to wait, and I was hoping to start assembling this engine. I mean, I can I can do the the, the uh, rotating the rotating assembly without a problem, but that was just that was just a stupid mistake, and I'm hoping that will not um, bite me too bad. So won't know till. Paint dries, nothing I can do about it at this point. Let the paint dry. I've got to take these valve springs off anyway because I have to put these stock springs back on. So I was going to have to take the valves, valve springs out and, and at that point I can pull the valves and roll them and see if they're bent. So what was supposed to be a triumphant day ended in a little bit less triumphant mood, I guess. So, well. That's episode one of the engine build. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys next time. Hope everybody has a great week. I wouldn't intentionally leave you guys hanging, um, so this morning I came in, this is the day after I painted it, and I pulled the three valves where when it hit the floor last night, it actually cut the plastic that I had covering it. And you can, you know, you can see where those three valves had actually hit the, you know, they actually hit the concrete. So I pulled them and I put them, and this is not the correct way, I'm 100% sure, but I've chucked them into a drill just past where the keepers go. And all three of them spin almost perfectly straight. I mean, I would say well within times, they're, they're probably this way when I took it apart. So I am going to say that I didn't bend any valves and that I can finish assembling of the head and not, you know, swap my springs out and we'll be okay. So I know you guys were worried. I was worried. I, I had a really restless night's sleep thinking about what I was going to do if I actually damaged this. So Thank you again for watching, and I hope everybody has a great week.